FBI and Homeland Security released 13-page report on Clinton hacking, and it's terrifying. Russia's Federal Security Service, FSB, and military intelligence did hack the Democratic National Committee during Hillary Clinton's doomed election campaign, a report has claimed. The FBI squarely blamed Russian intelligence services for meddling in the 2016 US presidential election by releasing the most definitive report yet on the issue, including samples of malicious computer code said to have been used in a broad hacking campaign. Starting in mid-February 2015, Russia's foreign intelligence agency, the FSB, emailed a malicious link to more than 1,000 recipients, including US government targets, the FBI said in a 13-page report, co-authored with the Department of Homeland Security. Talk about a load of BS. This is fake news of the highest order. This isn't proof. This is nonsense. This report has been produced by someone who's been told to come up with evidence so that the paid-for media can throw it around and rank up tensions with Russia. But my God, just you watch Obama and Clinton use this report as proof Russia did it in it and to start talking about physically attacking Russia in a hot, potentially nuclear war. Is this what we want? Nuclear war because the Russians, we are told, helped stop Hillary Clinton getting into the White House? Even if it wasn't BS, even if the Russians did hack her emails, do we really want to go to war with Russia because they hacked a few emails? Jeez, do we want to kill everything on the planet for that? The world is going, sorry correction, has gone bloody mad. Hillary Clinton is an evil witch. As I said in my other video yesterday, we dodged a huge bullet with that cow. She took millions in campaign donations from Saudi Arabia during the election campaign. The same Saudi Arabia who throw gay people off buildings and treat women worse than cattle. All the while, Clinton was pretending to be on the side of gay people and especially pretending to be on the side of women. She is a horrendous mule. Least we forget that it was a Clinton Foundation that took hundreds of millions of dollars for the people of Haiti only to keep 97% of it for themselves. She's a disgusting pig. And get this, it was Hillary Clinton who took $35 million from the Russians. That's right, from the Russians. Whilst Donald Trump is condemned as the evildoer and the devil because he wants peace with the Russians. Hillary Clinton took 35 million from a company with ties to Putin and no one says a word. I hope her illness finishes her off sooner rather than later. The world has truly gone insane. Do we honestly want to go to war over this woman and a few hacked emails? And now we hear that Putin won't expel any US diplomats in a tit for tat after Obama petulantly expelled 35 Russian diplomats on the basis of zero fact and zero evidence about Russia's involvement in the hacking scandal. Again, by doing this, Putin has made Obama look like a small child. A desperate small child. Obama and Clinton are clearly now in a race against Trump's inauguration. He's in a race to cause something to prevent Trump taking office. Unless we start making even more noise, people, we could very well wake up one morning and find that Obama has launched an attack on Russia because a guy on Obama's payroll wrote a report saying that it was all Russia that did it in it. An average Joe will sit there and ask himself, how the heck did we get here? Whilst, of course, dying of radiation poisoning.